Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about related versus related DAX function in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is a comparison chart between these two functions. Related returns a single value from another table that is related to the current row. Whereas related table returns a table with all the rows related to the current row. The syntax is related and then column name. For this related table and then the table name. Related requires relationship between two tables one to one or many to one relationship. Whereas related table can accept with one to one, many to many or one to many relationship. The syntax is related product name and for related table sum x related table stock table and then the stock so let's go into the practical now i have these two tables one is product table which has the product id and product name and the other one is store stock table of each and every product it has serial number store name product id and then the stock what I need is, I need the product name here in this table on the store stock table and sum of stock with all the stores in the product table. If you look at this, I have main store, warehouse and sub store. So in three of the stores, there are the products available. So 101, 101 and 101. So I need the cumulative of this stock on this product table. To achieve this, we need to use these two DAX functions. First of all, let's have a look at the relationship between these two tables. So manage relationship, this is the store stock table and product ID. The product ID is linked with the product table, product ID when 90 to 1 relationship. So this relationship will work on both the DAX functions. And you need to click on the new column. So here and the new column you need to type it here product name column equal to related open bracket and then the product table product name as said before this function returns a single value of the current row context i have made a video about the row context filter context and query context if you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen now coming back to this one this function does in the background is it will search the product id it is 101 on the product table product name column i mean uh, this id it will search on the product table if it match it will done the product name so like this it does for each and every row 101 102 103 and 104 it checks on that table of the product table and then returns the product name here if it is not available then it will return blank now let's go to the product table the product table also you need to click on this eclipse icon and then new column all store stock i need to use the sum x because it's the stock is available on more than one store so sum x related table and store stock table and this related table function what it does it it just looks the product id in the store stock table and returns a table say for example this 101 101 is available on here and here and here three of them have so there are three rows available sum x returns table it returns the three row table and then it combines all the three value of the stock column it displays here like this it will do for each and every row on this table so related returns a single value from another table that is related to the current row whereas returns return a table with all the rows related to the current row this is really interesting DAX function available in the power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below 
Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.